Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Haman. So um, just to sort of introduce uh, Industry Capital, it's actually um, a San Francisco-based um, private equity group with approximately 1.4 billion in discretionary funds uh, under management. Uh, we have a focus on hard assets. Um, the fund grew out of the real estate business and you know, we are looking predominantly at long-term cash flows. Um, and in 2010, uh, we made a strategic decision to add um, renewables uh, and alternative energy to our pipeline um, for, for, for investment. We typically are involved in participating from an early development stage, which I think distinguishes us from many of the private equity groups uh, playing in, 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 this, in this arena. Uh, uh, all the way to exit, and we have a sort of vertically integrated uh, uh, approach to these assets where we bring in, you know, a lot of the kind of broad experience that a private equity group can get in terms of how to cultivate these assets versus developers that typically have a, a much more project by project focus. Um, we, 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 we currently have a pipeline of 700 megawatts of uh, solar projects uh, in, in our, in, under development um, that we're committing capital to, as well as time, uh, and 100 megawatts of wind and 15 megawatts of geothermal. Uh, the sort of case study project that we worked on um, in, in California is a 399 megawatt project that we acquired in 2011. Um, it's currently in its fifth year of development. Uh, at the time where we acquired it, it the developers uh, had just lost the interconnection agreement that sort of underlied uh, the, the opportunity. Um, we made a decision to come in and um, reinvigorate the project. Um, we joint ventured uh, in the financing. The turnkey costs of that project was approximately a billion dollars. Um, we joint ventured with uh, Duke Energy, uh, the US's largest utility, to uh, develop that project. Um, today, we have, um, we have uh, received uh, the interconnection approval again. Um, and uh, we're looking at construction uh, to begin late 2014 and commissioning in 2016.